Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is obviously, like the title states, um, it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that I've been obsessed with lately. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna dive right in. Before I do get started, everything will be linked in the description box if you wanna shop the video. It's all there. I broke it down from lifestyle products to beauty products to fashion to food kind of throw the food in there, TV, and then music. So I'm gonna just start with lifestyle. The first thing is the book, A Little Life. If you guys follow me on Goodreads or Instagram or watch my vlogs, you probably already know that I am literally so obsessed with this book. It is a very heavy book. So if you are not good with emotions and you're not in a good emotional state, don't pick it up. You follow along a journey of these four men and it goes throughout their whole life. So not their whole life, but from college on through like 60 years. And it's just so beautifully devastating, if that makes sense. I've never been connected to characters or people in a book more than I have in this book. I can't really tell you too much without giving it away, but I don't think any book is ever gonna reach the hype and connection that I have to the characters like this one. It's like I know them, it's like they're real people. It was actually really sad when I put it down, I was almost like, wow, it's like I just went through a whole lifetime, like, and then I just put it away. It just seemed very unreal. It just touches your soul, you cry a lot. Um, some people I've heard have like had to stop reading it because it is so intense. It's just really a good book. And if you guys did read it, wow. I don't wanna give away too much. Um, so the next thing on my lifestyle product is my Tempur-Pedic bed. You guys know I got my Tempur-Pedic when I moved here. It has literally saved me. Without the Tempur-Pedic, I would have just been sleeping with no furniture. It was my first piece of furniture here. I've been using it as my bed, my desk, and where I eat because I didn't even have a couch. I had just moved to New York. If, if you guys are new and i've just been through fucking hell and back and for some reason like that bed just like has been my home now that i'm starting to get furniture and stuff my home is coming together but that was just like my comfort zone for like this whole quarantine it was really weird but also there's amazing benefits it has nasa technology so like when you lay down it will literally absorb and shape into your body it feels like you're floating and like melting into honey that's the only way I can describe it. If you guys have a mattress firm near you, go, like, just go lay on it and you'll see. And it also has an Ergo Smart Base, so you can adjust the top, so it'll, like, go, and you can, like, sit up, and you can also adjust your feet. There's zero gravity, which makes you really feel released um, of all of tension in your back. Like, it's just amazing. And now that I have my sciatica nerve problem, <laughs> I love it even more because you need a firm mattress. It's just been saving me. It's really weird. Things just keep happening. I'm like, thank God for my bed. And I just love it so much. It's like the best bed I've ever slept in. My away suitcase. So as you guys know, I got a suitcase for Christmas that I really liked, but my cat freaking peed on it. So I had to get another one. And I was told by a friend that the away suitcase is like the best way to go. You can literally throw a bowling ball on this suitcase and it won't dent. I've heard of them before. I know that they're on social media a lot. Um, but I didn't know if it was just hype or if it was actually a really legit suitcase and let me tell you it's a legit suitcase I got the big one and then there's a smaller one inside of here It also has a lock here and then if TSA needs to open it They have their own specific lock so they're not gonna like pry open your suitcase and damage it It's just really safe. I really really like it. The quality is amazing The look of it is really nice the wheels go like in 360 direction so it's easy to handle in the airport um, so it's freaking huge. Like I said, I got the small one too. So it comes with this one, which is, oh, I forgot to show you this too. Look at this. Ready? One, two, three. You can charge your freaking phone and there's like three different plugs in here. The, only the small one has it. You have all of this area here. You have this huge area. There's like this divider here that you can buckle, um, up. And then it comes with a um, like dirty laundry little bag here that you put all your dirty laundry in. It's just a really good, really, really good suitcase. I'm highly, highly impressed. You can also put um, stuff in this divider, like it zips open. It's just, it's my favorite. So the next thing is my wall art. So I got a ton of stuff for my walls, but there's two pieces that I'm like in particularly obsessed with. This one is the first one. So this is a New York watercolor 
um, map of all of the New York neighborhoods. So obviously, if you guys have been in New York, you know this, but inside Manhattan, there is little neighborhoods that people refer to all the time, and because I'm not from here, but I just moved here, I don't really know them, and I find myself Googling all the time the New York neighborhood maps. So I was like, let me get this. I put it right at the front of my door. It fits so perfectly. It's so beautiful. And now when people reference certain neighborhoods, I know exactly where it is compared to like where I live and all that stuff. And it's an Etsy shop. So you're going to be supporting like a little artist and she does other states too. It's not just New York. I just really like it. I did buy the gold frame from Amazon. Um, it didn't come with the frame. So she was really sweet though. I thought it came with the frame. I messaged her and she was like, Oh, this is the one that I have in the picture and she's just like very helpful in that way. And then the second one is my books art piece from Society6. I'm obsessed with this. I've been wanting this um, for like two to three years now and it is a little bit pricey so I just waited and now that I have an apartment that I actually want to like buy pieces that I'm going to have forever, I was like I'm just going to get it. And they always have good deals on Society6 so um, look out for that. I also have the extension Honey, which like adds all the promo codes that you can think of or that you Google all in just one button. So usually they have a ton of like Society6 coupons too. So if you want to download that, I highly recommend. But I just think she's so beautiful and like peaceful. I think I'm going to put her above my fireplace once I start getting my furniture in. Okay, what's next? My couch. You guys know the situation with that. I got my couch from Polly and Bark. I told myself I would not buy um, couches online or any furniture online, but obviously with quarantine, I had no other choice. And I did extensive research. And the Polly and Bark is basically one of the most famous online couches. Like they're known for their couches that people buy online. I like went to their Instagram, I looked at the reviews and all the pictures that people had of this couch. You can actually get a swatch before you buy it so that you know if it's like the right color for whatever color scheme that you have in your like living room. They have other furniture too, so it's not just couches, but I'm obsessed with my couch. The color, the texture of the leather, the width, it is just, just everything. I love, 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 I love my couch. It's called the Napa Sectional, um, and I got it in Cognac, Cognac Tan, um, and I got the right wing because I want the left side to be a little bit longer. All right, on to beauty products. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but this is the Tarte uh, foundation brush. This was the highest rated one on Sephora, and I was like, you know, I really want a new foundation brush, but I'm not like into the hype of like spending a lot of money on brushes. It just seems like crazy to me. Now I get it. When you use this brush, it legit like glides into your skin. It's like silk. It's so big. So when you do use it, it's a really quick, swift movement. It just puts your foundation almost like into your skin. Usually when I put on like a beauty blender or any other like cheaper brush, you can see the foundation almost like layered on top of my skin. This just literally glides into your skin and it just is so nice. I got a whole bunch of people already on this brush and you guys seem to really like it as well. It's just a game freaking changer. It makes your skin so soft and your foundation so silky and luminous. Another brush that I got is this Tarte Buffer Brush. Um, is it a kabuki brush? It might be called a kabuki brush, but it's so big. Talk about, oh, I'm like going like this as if you guys can feel how soft it is. It is the softest brush I've ever freaking bought. I love that it's huge. So when I put on bronzer, instead of getting those harsh jagged lines that I used to get, this just makes your tan look so natural because it's so big. And I kind of just do like a three right here and it's just, it's everything. My cousin used to have a brush like this and I would always tell myself I'm gonna get it and I never did. Finally, the Sephora haul happened and I was like, I'm gonna get myself this and I regret not getting it earlier. It's just so nice. So adding the foundation with this and then putting the bronzer on this, you're just like, it just looks like your natural skin. In terms of sunscreen, I've been really trying to find a good sunscreen and my friend recommended this brand called Elastin skincare and this is a tinted sunscreen so this is for everyday use it's spf 36 it's water resistant i love it it's like putting on cc cream but you put it's sunscreen so 
I love that it's tinted. It glides onto your skin. It's so soft. I don't recommend using this with makeup. If anything, just buy like a foundation that has SPF in it. But for everyday use when you're not wearing makeup, it gives you that really good no makeup makeup look. Um, and you're just putting on sunscreen basically, but you're putting on that kind of CC cream and it's like good for your skin. The ingredients are so nice. It's a mineral sunscreen, so you don't have to worry about any of those like nasty chemicals. <sighs> game changer, another game changer. In terms of lips, so I've been obsessed with the Fenty Gloss Balm. I got it in Sweet Mouth. The applicator is so big that it's just so nice to put on your lips. It smells delicious. It reminds me of those um, lip smackers, lip smunkers that we used to get when we were younger, at least I did. It's just a perfect everyday lip gloss. I also picked up this. This is like a super random purchase on Amazon. It's called the Boxum Full On Plumping Lip Polish. I love it. It makes your lips so plump and the color is so nice. I got the color Dolly and it is the softest lip plumper I've ever used. I'll put it on for you right now. Oh my God, this like glides. And you guys will see over time how my lips plump. Plump. It feels so good and it doesn't tingle really. I feel, it feels a little bit cold, but it doesn't tingle like most lip plumpers. Also, I'm obsessed with the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. This stuff is super inexpensive. It hydrates your face. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it, so it's also good for your skin. Uh, there's no sulfates, no parabens, any of that bad stuff. And you know, everyone's like obsessed with rose water spray and I really liked it, but I, I don't like the smell. I feel like roses to me smells like an old lady. I don't know. This smells like coconut. It's the perfect summer spray because it smells like you're in the Bahamas on vacation. We can all pretend that we're like on some island during this quarantine. It's so refreshing and it just smells so, so good. Go to a Target and go smell it. Next thing I've been obsessed with is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. A lot of celebrities use this and it gives your skin a glass like texture so it makes you look like a freaking doll i use it in the morning and at night and it just gives you that luminous translucent look for your skin and it tightens your skin so much when i wear this i can feel it like giving me like a facelift it just is the nicest serum and i know why now a lot of celebrities use it read the reviews for yourself like it is just amazing i tried it for you i'm telling you guys it's worth the hype it makes your skin literally look like glass <laughs> i've been really trying really hard to focus on taking care of my hair i used to use pantene because i like the texture that it gives me but i know it was really bad for your hair you do feel different when you use pantene on your hair like you can feel how soft it is but eventually over time that wax builds up and never comes off and it just completely damages the protein and like texture of your hair so like it may feel good now but long term it's just really bad for your hair so i invested in some more good shampoo and conditioner this was the highest rated ones i i do a lot of research and i read a lot of reviews and watch a lot of youtube videos about products and stuff and this was like by far one of the highest rated best-selling hair care brands is moroccan oil and lo and behold my mom had it in her shower so when i was back home i was using it i fell in love and then i bought some for myself so this is the moisture repair shampoo and conditioner it's color safe sulfate phosphate paraben free smells delicious i don't have to use that much and i can really really see the difference of my hair but i don't see the difference that much without using the moroccan oil um treatment so this is just an oil and it's alcohol free you just put like literally a dime amount in your hair after you can put it in wet but i like to put it in after i style my hair and i kind of just like rub it through my hair and it just makes all the frizz go away it makes it really voluminous and full i feel like my hair is just way more voluptuous than when i don't use it i've just noticed a huge difference in my hair i think the treatment has more of an impact on your hair than the shampoo and conditioner so if you had to buy one i would buy the, the oil treatment in the shower i've been using this kp bump eraser body scrub if you guys have kp or know what kp is it's basically like those little textured bumps on your arms your chest some people get it on their legs you can get it on your face you can get it anywhere i typically get it a little bit along my chest and i've never noticed it until i moved into this apartment because the light here is so big and i'm like oh my god what is this like bump on my skin i look like i have like chicken skin and did research, found out I had KP. So this is the body scrub. It has 10% AHA. It's the first aid KP bump eraser body scrub. And I've noticed a huge difference in the texture of my skin 
Um, I've been using it for about, I want to say, two weeks now. And it's safe for sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin. And I'll just exfoliate with this and then kind of just glide it along my skin. And my skin is so soft. Follow it up with some moisturizer. Uh, the CeraVe is really good for KP. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. I've been noticing really, really good results. So if you guys have KP, like me, try this out. Hopefully it'll work for you guys. And then in terms of my summer tan i've been using the jergens natural glow firming daily moisturizer i've been using this since i went home to my mom's house she had it and again did a whole bunch of research and was looking for some new tanning products you know what tanning just takes so freaking long it takes a whole day you feel greasy it's smelly it, it's like a freaking process it gets all over my freaking sheets like it's just a lot this is just a lotion it's rated number one in the same category as all those super expensive tanning creams and this always comes out as number one it has an award-winning scent it doesn't smell bad at all it doesn't smell like tanner it smells actually really good it's a gradual tan you don't feel like coated in tanner it's just it does give you a huge difference in your skin tone and you can literally see like if you just take a line and only put it on a specific part of your body you can see it gradually tan and you can see how well it works and it works within the first for me the first application that i ever did it worked and i could see where i put the tanner so it's a it's a no-brainer i think it's like seven bucks too it's insane all right now we're gonna go into fashion so i have some products too first of all my rings so this is a ring collection that i got on princess polly it comes with all of these and i think another one this is actually backwards but this is a little knot i don't know i think they're so cute i love stacking rings and i hate buying like one at a time so the fact that these were all together i just really really like it they're super dainty they're super cute and elegant and you just buy them all in one pack so again no brainer my nasty gals white sneakers I bought these a long time ago. Hopefully I can find them. If not, I'll find like something that looks like that. But being here in New York, it just goes with everything. You can wear these with shorts, your bathing suit. You can wear this with like a dress. They're just a plain, basic white shoes. And they're just perfect for running around the city. And I've been wearing them a lot. Um, I've also been wearing this romper. I've been like obsessed with this romper. So it's from Urban Outfitters. I'll put a little clip of me trying it on here, but it just fits in all the right places. It has this little scrunched back here on the lower back. Um, so it makes your butt kind of pop out and it kind of cinches in at the back of your lower back. So it gives you that nice little arched hourglass kind of figure. It's an open back. You can tie these little pieces here in the front. It just really makes your body look amazing and it like i said cinches in all the right places it's just so nice you can dress it up dress it down it's a perfect everyday summer outfit also i've been loving my way is that how you say it i never know how to say it is it way quay i think it's totally different honestly it's actually called key okay see like you would never think that q u a y is key but i got these from princess polly too they're the perfect summer sunglasses. They're huge, so they're hater blockers, but they also like make anything that you're wearing so nice. You can literally just like wear this with your PJs. I'm wearing it with my PJs and I look like a freaking boss. <laughs> I just, I love these so much. And then also a lot of you guys asked me about this and I've been obsessed with it, but it's like my little pearl headband. I wear this sometimes in videos. I'm not a huge headband person as I wearing a headband and featuring a headband. Um, but the reason is because I get headaches. I tend to get like really tight here and behind my ears, but these are pearls here on the end. So they, it feels like you're not really wearing anything. It's just really nice. I got it from free people. So I'll pop that in the description box as well. All right. <laughs> food because what's a renee obsession favorites video without food so i've been really obsessed with turkey bacon i've never been a bacon person in my life um for some reason i wanted to try turkey bacon and i've been obsessed with it it's a really good source of protein it tastes really good paired with eggs it smells amazing and it just makes you feel like you're getting a very hearty breakfast and it tastes really good i like it way better than bacon i'm like one of those weird people that doesn't like bacon but turkey bacon i i can do i get the i think it's called i don't know what the brand is called but i'll pop it here i don't have any right now also been obsessed with this but i wish i wasn't and i need to like stop eating them but it's the taco bell cinnabon little uh what are they called cinnabon delights you get just two they're the perfect size they're like this big and they're cinnamon coated donut balls with warm icing in the middle 
They are so delicious. If you guys have a Taco Bell, go try it out. Another thing that I've been loving and has been like saving me during quarantine is my Mayomi. So this is the wine that I drink. It is a Pinot Noir. It's 2018 from California. And it's pretty much the only wine I'll drink now. Like I used to drink La Crema and then I used to drink like a lot of times, like you know when you get like that cheap wine, once you like go a little bit upscale with alcohol, you can never taste like the ones that are like lower anymore because they just don't taste the same. Typically this is only $20 at Trader Joe's, um, but here in New York it's like freaking $27. I don't drink too often, but when I do have wine, Mayomi is where it's at. I love, love, love Mayomi. And then um, Fort, I don't have it right now, I'll have it a little bit later, but it's a chocolate company and they sent me over different parts, like different chocolate bars and I am not kidding you, I've never had a bar like this ever in my life. It was white chocolate lemon and they said to put it over salmon and I was like, what the hell? I don't like white chocolate, first of all. White chocolate and lemon to me tastes kind of weird. It was the best thing I ever had. It's like you're eating a lemon like coffee cake it was oh, so good and it's another award-winning product it's the okay so it's lemon pepper and you would just think it's like what it just melts in your mouth it's so creamy as for tv y'all already know i watched mtv's the challenge i've been obsessed with that that's a really great binge worthy show if you guys are looking to binge on some stuff during the rest of this quarantine it's so good it has a huge like cult fan base too so like once you're involved you can like go on twitter and like read everyone's you know comments and i feel like it's getting bigger now like when i used to watch it it wasn't as big but now it like trends on twitter and it's just really good. It's the perfect combination between like trash reality TV and then like fitness grind competitor shows. It's just really good. They've totally upped a notch this season too. They make every challenge insanely intense. Like they're like climbing out of cars that are going 100 miles an hour and jumping off like cliffs into this freezing cold water, going into sewers and like it's insane. It's just mind tough. It's physically tough. And it's like game tough, like you have to actually be smart and play a game. Also, The New York Housewives, that's my trash television. I liked it, but now Tinsley left. I'm so disappointed. I hate when they change up the characters. I thought with Bethany being gone that it wouldn't be that good, but it was actually really good. And now Tinsley's gone, so I'm like, oh. I don't know but it's so funny it's just like a whole bunch of old ladies getting drunk going crazy and not giving a fuck and just living their best lives also outer banks if you guys haven't watched outer banks i'm sure that you guys have heard of it it's on netflix it is a really good show the first two episodes are freaking so boring and it takes a lot for me to watch tv like i don't watch tv often those are the only two shows that i'll actually sit down and like watch otherwise i have to be doing something while i'm watching tv um, like on my laptop or something but Outer Banks that's how I was the first two episodes and then after the third it just gets better and better and better and then you connect with the characters it's just a lot of character development I feel like in the first two episodes um and it just like has such a good vibe it's based in South Carolina I think it's like on the water just like the vibe and lifestyle that they live is pretty cool and then it's like mixed with a treasure hunt and it's just it's really good and all the people on that show are just so beautiful also Trey Kennedy you guys know if you watch my vlogs I'm obsessed with Trey Kennedy I have a little crush on him he does like really funny three minute videos he's actually a viner he was a viner I never knew that it's actually really clean humor so he doesn't like curse or anything yet he makes me laugh like hysterically laugh um, he does a lot of like funny quarantine stuff so it's like every girl in quarantine or couples during quarantine and it's just so funny he has all these different characters that he plays sometimes he'll play like a girl sometimes he'll play a middle schooler like it's just he's so freaking funny and they're fast so they're not like boring you know and then as for music um i have two playlists i have one that's called goes feral so this is like music that i was thinking once quarantine queen quarant hmm? quarantine is over everyone's gonna go freaking crazy we're going feral it says in a wild state especially after escape from captivity or domestication so it's like really poppy like upbeat like party i don't give a fuck kind of attitude music and then i have a playlist called honey which is more like slow deep heavy music like honey thank you guys for watching this video i know it was super long i appreciate you guys all of everything will be linked in the description box and yeah i gotta clean up this gigantic mess now I'll see you guys soon. Love you.